The Dixie Fire, burning in Northern California, is now the second largest in state history, burning nearly 500,000 acres. And just to give you guys an idea, that's about two and a half times the size of New York City. It has also destroyed more than 400 structures. Fire officials are warning that it could be weeks before they can contain this massive blaze. Let's get to Jennifer McGraw live in Greenville tonight, one of the town's hardest hit by the fire. Jen. Mike and MB, this town has been around since the gold rush. So you can imagine this fire was so fast and so hot. This town really just didn't stand a chance. Here we're at the Greenville Library. We only know that because that has a sign on it. Many of these buildings don't have signs. We have the pizza place to the left, to the left of that. Then you also have a towing company, doctor's offices, and behind all of those businesses are dozens and hundreds of homes, hundreds of homes that were destroyed. And when you talk about it being weeks before this fire can even be put out is because off in the distance, the smoke is creeping up, the fire's creeping up over the hill, and firefighters have a certain huge battle to fight. The damage is incomprehensible as the Dixie Fire continues to ravage communities. Hundreds of homes and structures destroyed and more than 15,000 are being threatened. One of these days, a fire is going to come over the ridge and from where I live. It moved so fast. I saw it all. Mike Orloff watched above the bluff as his city burned to the ground, one building after another. All my friends, his new home, handicapped, all set up, just burned to the ground. He's praying for the other communities in the fire's path. What are they going to come back to? Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? By Monday, the thick smoke holding down winds and temperatures finally cleared, allowing for firefighters to continue the battle in the air, making water and retardant drops to contain what's now the second largest wildfire in California history. Putting that into perspective, it's now larger than the city of Los Angeles. That's 500 square miles. And sadly, it's not over as fire crews in the air and on the ground battle to save surrounding communities. You know, I'm a guy that's pretty on top of things and pretty sharp. But this is just beyond comprehension. What's this going to be like in a month? Mike said sadly that many of the people living here in this community are on a fixed income. It's a poor community and sadly, Many of them don't even have fire insurance because of all the fires. A lot of these insurance companies have dropped them. So he's right. A lot of these people will not have homes to come home to. And at this point, they know that they that their home has been destroyed. And many of them are gathering right now and trying to figure out and trying to help each other figure out where they're going to go next. I'll send it back to you, MB and Mike in the studio. It's now the second largest wildfire in California history, burning nearly 500,000 acres and destroying hundreds of homes and lives. The Dixie Fire, driven by strong winds and fueled by dry conditions, tore through the Golden Rush era town of Greenville, leaving behind a community now reduced to ash and rubble. Our Jennifer McGraw is in Greenville, about 150 miles north of Sacramento. She joins us live with a look at the devastation tonight. Jen. Mike and MB fire officials tonight giving an update saying there is some grave concern throughout the week that there could be gusty winds and storms creating more fuel to the fire here in Greenville homes like this. This is normal. It's level. The only thing standing is wrought iron and the chimney all across the town from the businesses to the homes. Most everything is gone. Now firefighters are hoping to stop this fire so it doesn't continue to happen to other communities. We are definitely the number one priority in the country. We are the largest fire in the country. We take a look at aviation assets. We currently have 30 helicopters assigned to our fire. We have nine large fires in California and the second uh, fired with the most helicopter aviation next to us is seven. The damage is incomprehensible as the Dixie Fire continues to ravage communities. Hundreds of homes and structures destroyed and more than 15,000 are being threatened. One of these days, a fire is going to come over the ridge from where I live. 
It moved so fast. I saw it all. Mike Orloff watched above the bluff as his city burned to the ground, one building after another. All my friends, his new home, handicapped, all set up, just burned to the ground. And it's not just the entire town evacuated, wildlife forced to flee from the forest, looking for food in nearby burnt out homes. Mike is worried about the future of Greenville and everything in the fire's path. What are they going to come back to? Where are they going to go? Where are they going to go? The thick smoke cleared Monday, allowing for firefighters to continue the battle in the air and making water retardant drops to contain what's now the second largest wildfire in California history. Putting that in perspective, it's nearly the size of the city of Los Angeles. That's 500 square miles. Firefighters doing all they can to stop this monster. It's still a very difficult firefight. The weather, uh, the fuels conditions can create extreme fire behavior, but they're in there doing everything they can. You know, I'm a guy that's pretty on top of things and pretty sharp. But this is just beyond comprehension. What's this going to be like in a month? And sadly, we saw that in paradise. It took months to years to get that town up and running. No doubt Greenville will be just as resilient. As for the cause of this fire, PG&E coming out today saying it quite possibly was not them. That is still under investigation where it started there on Dixie Road. There are also four people unaccounted for over the weekend. They've all been found. Live here in Greenville, Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. Jennifer, thank you. Turning now to the Dixie fire burning across four northern California counties. Stunning new video shows the moment the residents of Greenville were called to evacuate as a swirling wall of fire and smoke raced toward the small town. It would be just hours later that the town would essentially be wiped off the map. That fire is now nearing a massive half a million acres, making it the largest single fire in state history. Yeah, it's had a significant impact on countless lives. KTLA 5's Jennifer McGraw is live in Greenville with more. Jennifer. Lou and Glenn, we've been out here for two days and we've been talking to those people with their heartbreaking stories, whether they lost their business, their home so much or just their entire town. And the problem is it's heating up and the conditions are getting worse. If you take a look up in those hills over there, there's a lot of smoke and that's grounding about 30 tankers and helicopters that could be helping the fire uh, fight. But the problem is that smoke has not dissipated, which they had hoped would happen around one o'clock today. So they're still waiting for a break in that. But the problem, too, is if the winds blow through, then several other communities will be affected. With fire burning all around these mountain communities, thousands have been forced to flee from their homes. And for some, it's been weeks. I still have my homes, but a lot of these people have nothing now. A lot of these people have kids and you can't help but cry when you hear the stories. You try to be strong. Deborah Spikers considers herself lucky so far. She has her two poodles in tow, a full tank of gas and a place to stay at the Red Cross. They're my family. So I knew whatever it was going to take, they would be with me. With thousands of evacuees, Deborah says people are becoming desperate. You couldn't get a motel here or a hotel all the way even Reno is totally booked. You you there's nowhere to stay. Thankfully, the Red Cross has been able to help hundreds, giving them springs of hope. I think the worst part of it is the uncertainty, right? When you first get evacuated, you don't know if your home is gone. You don't know if your livestock is OK. For now, it's a waiting game to see if the smoke will clear and which way the wind will blow, which could wipe out entire communities. The whole thing has been heart-wrenching, sad, something that uh, you have to experience what it is, but you become so appreciative of even the little things you have. And things are beginning to heat up out here. It's about 90 degrees, which is going to allow the fire to actually cook. And with wind coming in at any time, it could be even worse, especially for the town of Taylorsville, which we are following closely. We'll have an update for you tonight at 6. For now, live in Greenville, Jennifer McGraw, 
KTLA 5 News. All right, Jennifer, stay safe out there. Turning now to the massive Dixie fire burning across four northern California counties. Stunning new video shows the moments the residents of Greenville were told to evacuate as a swirling wall of fire and smoke raced toward their small town. And it would be just hours later that the town was virtually wiped off the map. And now those living in nearby communities are worried they could be next. KTLA's Jennifer McGraw is in Greenville, about 150 miles north north of Sacramento. She joins us live with a look at the devastation. Jen. Micah and Court, firefighters say it's a dynamic situation because they rely on the weather. For example, today, there's so much smoke, thick smoke in the sky that they were not able to fly. All air tankers and helicopters were grounded. But at the same time, it is bringing in cooler temperatures, helping to suppress the fire. And evacuees and people are just certainly hoping this ends soon so they can go home. Flames all along the ridge of several communities have homeowners and ranchers desperately hoping for a break. I'm very worried today because that fire could come down right behind their house. Even under mandatory evacuation orders, Jill Simon says she and so many others can't leave their livestock behind and are now worried they will die without fuel for their generators. You know, after a week with, oh, we haven't had power. If you don't have a generator, you have no lights, you have no, you can't pump your, use your well. Right. Um, so there's, you, you have to leave then and you, you won't, you can't come back. Meanwhile, her husband, a retired Paradise firefighter, is now trying to save their home in Taylorsville. It's, it's really hard. It's hard because I love this place. It's a beautiful place. Once the smoke clears, a switch in the wind could be devastating. That's what happened to Greenville. Will Myers with the local fire department says there was nothing he could do. It was like going into a war zone. Uh, flame was, every th was everywhere. Propane tanks were exploding. It sounded like shells going off. Um, there just wasn't, uh, by the time I got here, there wasn't much that could be done. Um, everyone was having to pull out because the heat was so intense. And even if firefighters can save Taylorsville, those who live there have lost their entire neighboring community of Greenville. I'm devastated. That was where we bought our groceries. That's where this whole community gets fuel. I spoke with Jill just a little while ago. She tells me that she is still very worried about her community. She says the winds are picking up and the smoke is settling into her neighborhood. We'll keep a close eye on that. We'll have an update for you later tonight. For now, reporting live in Greenville, Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. Jen, those images are awful, but thank you so much. To the nearly half million acre Dixie fire, they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but these two only need one. Devastating. New before and after satellite images of the town of Greenville show the extent of the destruction left in the wake of the fire. The northern California town was reduced to rubble. And now those living in nearby communities are worried they could be next. KTLA 5's Jennifer McGraw is in Greenville, about 150 miles north of Sacramento. She joins us live now with more. Hi, Jen. Court and Micah, finally firefighters got a break in the weather, but the smoke hung in all day, therefore grounding aircrafts. However, the wind picked up and it set the mountain on fire. Another night of fear after flare-ups break out and race down the side of the mountain into backyards. The whole side of the mountain, just like two nights ago, is completely on fire. Mike Orloff is traumatized after watching his town of Greenville burn to the ground. It's just shocking, shocking, happening all over again. And firefighters all along the hillside tonight fighting to protect dozens of homes. I'm very worried today because that fire could come down right behind their house. Even under mandatory evacuation orders, Jill Simon says she and so many others can't leave their livestock and her home is in the direct path. It's, it's really hard. It's hard because I love this place. It's a beautiful place. And evacuees are spread out across the state all the way to Reno, hoping to get back home soon. A lot of these people have nothing now. 
a lot of these people have kids and you can't help but cry when you hear the stories. You try to be strong. At the Red Cross in Quincy, everyone is pitching in. I'm going to put them inside the door. I'm sure they'll use it. Donating some old Wranglers and clothes for those who've lost it all. You just got to do the best you can do with the circumstances you got, you know. It's just so hard to see so much that people have worked so hard for taken away. Will Myers lives down the street and is worried about getting generators to water his cattle. But he's also a firefighter trying to protect his community. Our fire department burned down. We lost an engine. If uh, you know, we were already struggling before that for funding. A community decimated overnight and during weeks of uncertainty and worried what will be left. And if that's not devastating, listen to this infuriating. A college professor is in jail accused of setting multiple fires in Lassen County. That's just the next county over. He hasn't been accused of starting the Dixie fire, but he is in jail. Police put a tracker on his car and say they allegedly caught him in the act. That's it for now in Greenville. I'm Jennifer McGraw, KTLA 5 News. All right, Jennifer, thank you.